you have been working at this for decades, which is bonkers mm-hmm. to say. Um, mm-hmm. But do you think that it's uh, that are you because I, I have a saying called it's great. It gets greater later. And I really do believe that mm-hmm. everything is as it should be because I, I look at my life and I'm like, if I had gotten X, Y and Z job when I was Earlier. in my 20s, I couldn't have handled it. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Do you feel like you you now have this big job on this major network show because mm-hmm. it, it, it was the right time? Or do you feel like you were right. passed over for no, some things? it was the right time. No question, because I'm going to tell you the truth. I was at, it was down to, there was this big major show, and I'm not going to tell you which one, big major okay. show between me and this other sister. And I decided not to go to the final audition because I wasn't ready. Wow. And wow. Like, there wasn't a, bar, it wasn't a problem about doing the, doing the job, acting it. But the other stuff between cut and mm. action, I was not ready to. I was not ready to to be at the helm of a show. I couldn't do it, so I didn't wow. go to the audition. Girlfriend got it. And she did a great job. You How know? old were you when that happened? That was probably like five years ago. No. <laughs> no, really. Was it five years ago? Maybe five, six years ago. Truly. Wow. Truly. Truly, I wasn't ready. Didn't want to be there. Love the script, love the work, mm-hmm. love the, love the, like it would have been amazing, but I was like, no, I'm not going. Not going to the last <laughs> audition. Wow. Y'all, to thine own self out. be true. Yeah. Yes. To thine own self be true. And you have to, you have to keep your counsel, but that's some grown woman shit. You know what I mean? Like you, you can't yeah. be a kid and understand that kind of, that kind of uh, ideology. You, you know, you have to have some, um, mm-hmm. some, some life experience under your belt. To even mm-hmm. understand making a decision like that, um, and I would well, have I, never, baby. I never. Mm-hmm. Would, oh, baby, do you got rap? No, go go ahead. Go go. Do you, because I would have never thought. I never imagined this opportunity for me. You know what I mean? I'm just mm-hmm. one of those actors because, you know, they give you a. They would. They used to give me a small area to like flower in. Mm-hmm. So I had to learn how to do. Pot of berets, tour jetés, a yes. jump, a twist, flip <laughs> yeah. in those little spaces, right? Mm-hmm. So now, now as I get larger spaces, it's just part of my thing to find out what else is here. What more can we do? What what com- what's 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 more? You know? And yeah. to talk about, I was talking about like when you're talking about teaching. My teacher, my second grade teacher, is the reason why. No, pardon. My first grade teacher, Miss Doris Williams, is the reason why I'm an actress. She put a little note, pinned it to my shirt, and told my parents to send me to creative dramatics class. <laughs> wow. Because <laughs> you had that flair. Stuck. Yeah. Something was going on, Doris. Stop yeah. something. You had that flair, babe. You had that flair. 